Hi, it's Jeff Mann coming to you from Anycon in downtown Albany, New York. Uh, yesterday I was in San Juan, Puerto Rico, so if it looks like I'm not really here, it's because I'm not really here. And I'm sitting here with none other than Iron Geek, Mr. Adrian Crenshaw. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing okay, Adrian? Jeff. How are you doing? How many conferences is this that we've seen each other at this year? Uh, I don't year? know. This year so far I've been at 14 conferences. I think you've been at like three or four of them. At least, yeah. You getting tired of videotaping me yet? Eh, I can do a few more. I know these guys get tired of videotaping me. i got to come up with new talks so you have something different to do. So you're here today to do Hacker Movie Trivia? Yes, I am. All right. Is there any particular uh, hacker movie that stands out to you as your favorite hacker Hack movie? Hackers is probably one of the ones that was uh, most, oh, this is really cool. It's kind of BS, but visually, it's interesting to watch. And quite frankly, watching real hacking on a movie would be boring as hell. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's, the hell is more acceptable than fuck, right? All right. Yep, you can say both. This is not a uh, family-friendly show. That's all good then. Yeah. And, uh, and you said hackers and you didn't even mention Angelina Jolie. She's pretty, but she seems <laughs> absolutely nuts. So, uh, she, yeah, she's cute. And how okay. do you know I'm swinging that way? You know, maybe I'm, uh, maybe, maybe I'm all into a uh, uh, serial killer. You don't know. I, I've seen that uh, shirt that Matthew you Matthew Lenard is pretty damn cute. I mean, let's, let's face it. it all, it's all good. So there may or may not be quotes from hackers in Hacker Movie Trivia, because how whatever. many hacker movies are there, really, if you think I about could probably it. name all five influential ones, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to wing one. This is sort of semi from memory, but we'll start off with it. Are you ready? Yes. There's a war out there, old friend, and it's a war not about who has the most bullets, but who controls the information. Any idea? Damn it. Sneakers? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. That's I've seen it. Don't really like it, but I've seen it. That's the Ben, ben Kingsley character, and I, I mentioned that quote in the talk that I give today, which you've already recorded this year, so I'm glad you got it. Okay, let's try another one. You're 1-0 one, you're one so far. No one leaves the house anymore. No one has sex. The net is the ultimate condom. Actually, isn't that The Net itself? That the movie's you're called right, The Net. You're uh, right. Uh, Sandra Bullock. That's yeah. right, Sandra Bullock. Because if you're going to have a hacker movie, you got to have a big name female lead in it. So and she far. is pretty cute. She is. She. <laughs> you got that on film? Yeah. It's all good. You ready for another one? Yeah, sure. Lay it on me. All right. This one, uh, if you don't get, you have to hang up your hat. What kind of animal is that, by the way? That's a skunk. It's a skunk hat. This is my uncle's hat. Cool. Has it been de de smelled or? Well, I don't know. Before they killed it, I'm assuming someone uh, popped it upside with a 22 or something, and then they made a hat out of it. But I don't know for sure. My uncle had it for like 20 years before I, he he passed away, and then I inherited it. Blame it on the hat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, hey, shall we play a game? Yes, we shall. What movie? War games. <laughs> Correct. Matthew Broderick and, oh, who was that very pretty lady who was in that? Mm. Oh, come on now. Let's go get that for me. Now, see, that's what I don't remember. If you asked me who the actress was, I'd forget it, but Ali Sheedy. There you go. Oh, I, I had a crush on Ali Sheedy when I was a kid. We all did. Man. What was your favorite Ali Sheedy movie? Short Circuit. Okay. That's pretty easy. That's, Ali, that's almost a hacker movie. In that's sort style. of, yeah. Ali Sheedy was, yeah. And Only the Lonely was pretty good. She was in that with John Candy. Right. Least, I spent way too much time. Least favorite Sheedy movie. It's got to be St. Elmo's Fire. I haven't, see, I, I'll go ahead and say that since I haven't actually seen that movie. There's a reason why you haven't seen it. So it, it didn't movie. appeal to me, so I didn't watch it. So, um, hmm. How many questions do we give to Adrian, by the way? Until he misses? This is for a bottle of Maker's Mark, if you get them all right. Let's move on to another round. Um, here's, here's one. Spandex. It's a privilege, not a right. I'm pretty sure that's from Hackers itself. Very good. It is. You are a legitimate hacker trivia. I, I spent a lot of time on expert. IMDb while I was working as a university employee. Because university employees are lazy. Hey, I didn't have to do my quote from memory. It's written down here. Uh, let's see. Here's another quote. We have to set it up a little bit. 
the bank secretary says, so people hire you to break into their places to make sure no one can break into their places. It's a living, not a very sneakers. good one. So that's sneakers, that's too easy. How about this one? It's a security program itself, actually. It monitors all contacts between our system and other systems. It finds anything going on that's not scheduled. It shuts it down. I sent you a memo on it. We might have them stumped. There also might be an attractive female lead in this movie, but don't ask me who it was. And it might be spandex. Oh, shit. <laughs> you give it to me, tips. Hackers? Nope, it's not hackers. All right, I lost that one then. Yeah, that was Tron. Oh, shit. All right. Well, I lost that one. Which you could argue isn't a hacker movie. Mm. But how many hacker movies are there? So are we going for score or am I done since I've, I'm out? Right, let's do one more because this has got my, uh, my alma mater in it. For someone, the NSA once listed as the most dangerous hacker in America... You sure don't look like much. Swordfish? That's correct. Uh. We have another winner. Hey, what's that hanging around your neck, by the way, or sitting this, on your lap? Oh, this is my ball sack. <laughs> and what, she, um, <laughs> Mary Margaret Conley made me some sheet ball uh, sack. Uh, it's made out of actual... Yeah, I want to hold it? No, I don't want to hold it. Or stroke it? Is no, it, I don't want to stroke it. Uh, yeah, she made this for me It'll to put lockpicks lock in, me. but it's really not good for lockpicks because it's not separated enough, but it's good for, I have a bunch of padlocks in it. I'll take your word so for it. So this is my sheep sack of uh, padlocks. We don't want to put on video what you have inside your ball sack, okay? <laughs> Master Lock 140 series. You can use comb picks on these. These are very good for illustrating that particular purpose. Okay. Is there more? Well, I also have like, uh, let's see, oh, Master Lock number five. This is also really good for illustrating lock picking the people because they're very easy to pick in general. A little bit bigger than the Master Lock number three. I dare say that this is probably an easier lock to pick than the number three. And it has a chunkier feel to it. I like teaching people on number fives. So you like a chunkier feel in your ball sack. Yes, exactly. I think on that, we're out from Anycon, Albany, New York.